Now I want to show you two sites where you can find work and get paid a lot more than you can at MTurk. The first one is called elance.com. It's a site for freelancers. Get it? Freelance, elance, clever people there at elance. And they offer, they're looking for workers in just about any skill category you can imagine. So let's start by clicking on find work. And as you can see, we could click on any one of these tabs or we could just search for whatever our skill set is. Let's say it's proofreading. So we type in proofreading and we're going to search all categories. And this is what the next page looked like. It gives you the categories where they found the word proofread, it's giving you both fixed fee jobs and hourly jobs. And you can search if you wanted to get paid $5,000 for a proofreading job, you can search for those. Unfortunately, we don't see any there. So we'll go back to any budget. And let's just click on the first one here, proofread 65 page manual in PDF. Now the funny thing that jumps out at me right away is in his job description he writes, I have a 65 page manual that needs proofread. So obviously he does. As you go down in the listing you'll see more of the details that the person is looking for and you'll also see the other members of Elance who are bidding on the project. Unfortunately you can't find what they are bidding. You can find out more details about them. You can find out how many reviews they have and their rating. Here's no recent feedback, so this person is either new or hasn't been on the site in a while. So you get a lot of good information, and then you look at the job, and you simply provide a bid on what you would do this project for. I do know in my experience on these sites is that new people, new members of the sites, will often low bid just to get a uh, some feedback. And in some cases, I've actually given the job to more than one person if their bids are low enough, just so if I don't like one person's job, I can take the other person's job, but I do pay both of them if that's something I do. If it's a very expensive project, obviously I won't pick two, but if it's a low-cost project, I'll often choose two workers and see what they come up with, but I do pay them both. All right, I'm not going to go through the sign-up process for here, but I just wanted to let you know that Elance is a legitimate service. And if you have any skill sets, writing, translation, administrative support, you want to become a virtual assistant or something like that, you can find jobs to do here and get paid pretty well, particularly if you have some experience and you've been on the sites a while. So get started at elance.com. If you're a little more technically oriented, that's what the next site is for. This site is rentacoder.com, and this is primarily for people who are software coders. You know how to make software. And if you're looking for to have someone develop software for you, uh, you can use this site as well. I, I use this site to develop my debt cruncher program. So I've got experience at rentacoder.com as a software buyer. You can see some of the jobs available as they scroll past here. And you can get information about how it works for buyers and how it works for coders by clicking on, on these sites. Again, this is a legitimate site. You can get paid pretty well if you're an experienced software coder. So Elance and Rent-A-Coder are two great sites. Try them out and let me know how you do.